I'm Scott Murphy and we're with Forge Survival Supply. And today we're going to talk about uh, the different fire starters that we have available at the shop. We're going to show four different fire starters, waterproof matches, as well as three different fire pastes or tinders to use for your fires. So we're going to start with the UST Sparky. Very small, compact. All you have to do is push on it to get a spark. I'm going to use uh, three different methods to start a fire and we're going to see how this guy works and compares with the others. What I have here is tinder on a rope. I light my fire, block of wood that's soaked in paraffin wax. Light's really easy. It's compact, easy to put in your pack. All you need is a pocket knife and tinder on a rope and one source of fire and you've got yourself a campfire in a survival situation. So you take the knife, get yourself a little tinder. So we're going to take the sparky. I'm going to protect it from the wind a little. You just push down, put pressure onto the, onto the striking mechanism. And there we go. And there we go. So you can see that took about five or six strikes. A lot of times it just takes a little practice um, to figure out the best angle in which to use it. The, the one thing that I like about uh, these types of fire starters too is that um, it's very uh, macro muscle movements. There's nothing really tiny like trying to light a lighter or something like that or strike a match. These are big movements so if your hands are cold or things like that, um, you're still going to be able to get that thing started. This is a UST wet fire. It's a tinder cube and I'm going to actually, uh, I find you have a large cube. I think it burns for about eight minutes, but I find that it's actually unnecessary to use the whole thing. So it'll last a lot longer in a survival situation if you just use a small amount. So we're going to set this off to the side right here. And you can see it uh, doesn't have a problem staying lit there. I'm going to put the cube right here, use the same sparky. This one seems a little more difficult to light with the sparky. There it goes. All right, here we go. So it took a little more practice. I think it depends on um, your situation, your wind levels. It's nice to build a nice fire ring so that you can block from the wind. But this cube's gonna burn for quite a while. I have a third product to try, which is cold hands fire paste. So we're gonna try that right here. It's in a little tube. You just have to puncture the hole. Squeeze a little fire paste out. There it is. Three strikes and we're already lit. So from what I can see here, it took a little more time to use the wet fire tinder cubes. The fire paste immediately went up and, uh, and actually the tinder on a rope went pretty quickly as well. Now, do you think it makes a difference as far as what you use as a striking mechanism, how fast these will light? I mean, what, do you think the, uh, the uh, tinder cubes would light better with like a match or something like that? Oh, I think the tinder cubes, we're going to try several different options. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you some of them based on their size, uh, that some are a little easier to use than others. So we're going to try another fire starter now. Okay. This is made by UST. It's the Sparky. The next one. This is UST, this is a blast match. It's ultimately the same type of product. It comes in a little carrying case like this, it's spring loaded. What I like about this is that it's, it actually fits your hand a little bit better and same principle and it creates the spark. I like this because I feel that I have a little more leverage with it. So why don't we try um, another product here? I'm going to try tinder on a rope. Okay. 
Jimmy, if you could get that all in a little pile for me. Sure. So this is the blast match. Already lit. Three strikes and it's already lit. As you can see, it's just a little more comfortable in the hand, a uh, little better leverage point, larger strike. Uh, that was a lot easier, actually. Yeah. So let's try the blast match with a little fire paste. Here's the blast match and Cole hands fire paste. Already lit. Two strikes, it lit. And now we're going to try the UST wet fire tinder cubes. Okay, that's lit that's right lit. there. So it took a few more strikes, um, but I believe the UST wet fire tinder cubes are going to actually last longer. They're going to burn longer than um, some of the other ones. Absolutely, the tinder on a rope. It's probably more comparable to the coal hands fire paste. Mm -hmm. The problem with this, if this is in your pack, as you change altitudes, uh, this could expand. Easy to puncture. Um, you know, there's some. Um, possible cons as far as uh, bugging out with with a fire paste in a tube like this. And I do like the uh, compactness of the uh, tinder cubes. Um, I think, yeah, I think once you have a little bit of practice, I think it'll be just as easy to start as some of the other ones. And you can see ones. how large they are to begin with. I cut that in about a sixth of a piece, and you can see it's still burning. It's plenty enough to build a fire. Um, this could easily give you four to six fires, no problem. Yeah. Let's try a couple other um, fire, starters. fire starters. This one is the UST Strike Force. This is the old school method where you're doing it by hand. So we'll do the same thing. We'll try the same three products out. So I found if you keep this rested against the rock, make smaller movements, you're less likely to blow off your tinder and get it started. There it is. Right there, started. That worked great. I mean, that was in less than 10 seconds. Let's see if this works just as easy. It's lit. That's lit. And we'll try it with the with the tinder cube. Uh, tinder cube. Split. So this seemed to work the best actually with the uh, uh, tinder cubes so far. Do you like the motion of that one better or the uh, blast much better? Uh, this one's got pros and cons. What I like about this is it's got a it's got a sealed waterproof container. You can't lose the cap, but that also makes it a little more awkward. Uh, because it's attached with paracording. Yep. But this is something you could easily strap on with a carabiner, put onto your backpack. Uh, all three of these products will work. If you get them wet, all you have to do is wipe them off and they'll still continue to fire. Uh, let's try, I have one more fire starter to use. This is the Aurora fire starter. Comes in two colors, black and silver. Uh, ultimately, they're the same thing. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll set up three different stations here. This one's a little smaller, a little more compact. It unscrews. And if you look here, it's got the strike and it has the little uh, cutout indentation. And they show a couple different ways to use it, but uh, the way that I find is the easiest to use is once again, to put this right against a rock Make smaller motions to create the spark. You're lit. And there we're lit. Nope, oh, we went out though. But you can see I had a little more difficulty with it. Uh, what I like about it is that it's small. Uh, the con about it is that it's so small it it's doesn't hard. give you. It's hard to. It's hard to actually functionally use. It's great for being compact, able to stick it in your pocket on the go. Yep. Um, but I do find that it's hard to get the leverage 
that you need to get this that you up. need um, that you get a little bit with some of the larger units yep and uh, so let's try this with the fire paste so that's lit and we'll try a little tinder cube it's lit so that's lit so I think it, just with a little practice each one of these is very useful uh, I think ultimately it's gonna come down to cost size and weight and what you're after the last thing I want to show you guys is the Uko Stormproof Match Kit. It comes in a waterproof match kit. These are waterproof matches. It's got a strike on the side. Instantly goes up. Very I can't shake I cannot shake this out. If you do put water on it, it will go out with water. But you can see that that's a great match. And we're going to do another test, Jimmy, which is... See um, if it's really waterproof. Yeah, we're going to see if these waterproof matches are actually waterproof or not. Let's get this thing wet here. So, let's pour it right on the match. So, let's say it's raining. All right. Or you fell in a little bit of water. We douse that with water. It's working. It's definitely wet. Instantly, instantly came up to a flame. Uh, right now, my vote would be for the UST Blast Match mm. and the Strike Force. And, uh, but I think in any emergency situation, it's going to be best to have multiple, multiple options. Yep. And um, if you were to carry a couple things in one your hip pack and, and a couple things in your backpack, you're going to cover all your bases in an emergency situation. Yeah, I agree with that. So, all right, I think that's it. Jimmy, thanks for the help. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys subscribe and, uh, and like our page. Ain't seen the sun. It's been weeks. I'm going down.